kama pa tumepaji hapa tutapepea tutapa Kaunti nambari 17 katika taifa la Kenya baada ya kuwepo kwa serikali za kaunti chini ya mavuli wa katiba mpya ni kaunti ya Makueni. Sekta ya afya ikiwa ni moja kati ya sekta zilizogatuliwa kutoka serikali kuu na kupiga hatua kubwa kuimarisha afya ya mwananchi. Jumla ya hospitali 236 kuanzia kiwango cha hospitali ya rufaa yani level 5, sub county level 4 za anati na zile za kijamii zimeimarishwa kutoa huduma za kiafya katika kaunti ya Makueni. Kabla ya kuwepo kwa serikali za kaunti, hospitali 109 pekee ndizo zilizotoa huduma za afya katika kaunti ya Makueni huku kufikia sasa enzi za ugatusi jumla ya hospitali 236 zikiwezeshwa kutoa huduma za afya kwa ufadhili wa vifaa, wafanyakazi na pia majengo mapya na serikali ya kaunti ya Makueni chini ya uongozi wa gavana profesa Kivudha Kibwana. For me when discussing uh, devolution I usually say that some of the most important events in this country uh, were independence of course 1963 uh, then the 10 2010 constitution and within that constitution devolution uh, those three events are so critical in terms of our Uh, history uh, devolution has the potential to ensure that development is spread throughout the country and after a short while we stop talking about marginalized uh, areas so the more uh, the national government cooperates with the subnational governments or the counties Uh, to promote devolution so that there is even development in all spheres particularly those spheres that are the functions of counties like health agriculture and so on uh, the more our country will be stable one thing that we've been able to do in makweni county is actually to look at development holistically not not uh, uh, not touch only making sure that people people are healthy without getting to understand the social determinants of health we've been able to look at the social determinants of health and respond to those social determinants in keeping with our mantra of wanting to make makweni a county uh, of medical tourism this idea of medical tourism it was beginning to take root is beginning to take root tumeona mabadiliko makubwa katika hospitali yetu ilikuwa ka hospitali lakini saa hii ni hospitali hospitali ya rufaa ya makweni mjini wote ndiyo hospitali kubwa zaidi katika kaunti ya makweni ikiwa na uwezo wa kutoa huduma za afya kwa wagonjwa wa magonjwa mbalimbali kikiwemo kitengo maalum cha mama na mtoto yani Martha and Child Hospital katika hospitali ya mama na mtoto tangu kufunguliwa kwake rasmi na serikali ya kaunti ya Makweni zaidi ya wagonjwa 10000 kufikia sasa wamepata huduma za kiafya What happens in the Makweni Mother and Child Hospital it's where all deliveries and any other women related issue are attended to So in the department we have a labor ward we have a twin theater we have a post cesarean ward We have a postnatal ward, antenatal ward, and we have a gynecological ward and where the babies are kept when they have an issue they are sorted out by the pediatrician. It's the newborn unit. Isitoshe uwezo wa kutengeneza gesi umehakikishwa na tayari mtambo wa kutengeneza gesi upo katika hospitali hii yani oxygen plant ambao gesi hiyo pia husambazwa katika hospitali zingine katika kaunti nzima. We have our own oxygen plant within the hospital. This plant is able to supply oxygen to all our inpatients in all the departments of the hospital. Uh, the, the oxygen plant also has a, a refilling model. This refilling model or module has, is, is able to refill 30 cylinders of 8.5 cubic meters every 24 hours. So in this uh, area, therefore, we are able to sustain the other sub-county hospitals with supply of oxygen from our plant. We have also done a blood transfusion satellite unit uh, at the headquarter here, County Referral Hospital. 
And this supplies all our theaters and hospitals with blood uh, for both patients who are ailing from anemia and those who have been involved in road traffic accidents and they need blood, the ones that have been operated and they need blood. Previously, we had to really scavenge for blood and borrow blood literally from Taita Taveta County and Machakos County. And sometimes they don't have enough. So our patients uh, would not be in a good position uh, during those periods. So this has really sorted us out and we, we continue to equip the blood transfusion unit to a time that we will be able to screen our own blood within the county uh, and we don't have to make reference to any other institution. When we started, we did not have so many patients. In fact, we started with one patient. And then after a month, we had two patients. The number went increasing, increasing day by day. Up to this point when we have 18 patients who are on regular, despite the emergencies we handle in between. Before this unit was opened, our patient used to suffer because uh, they used to travel from here to Kenyatta for dialysis. I think Kenyatta is Kenyatta, Nakuru and uh, Mombasa. I think those were the whole, and the MTRH and Doret. Those were the only hospitals, the big hospitals with the dialysis centers. So the patient in counties, they used to suffer a lot. They used to travel from here to Nairobi and they remember that Nairobi, the patients are coming from different counties. So these county renal units have really helped our patients completely. We can say that we have achieved because they really appreciate the accessibility, cost-friendly. They can do their work because most of them, they come from all around. So if they come, we do dialysis after four hours, they are home. home. They do the activities, they come, so it is cost-friendly. We have also been able and to set up our health products and technologies uh, directorate, which I'm the head. And uh, this one has been a first in the country. We, th we are the first county to set up a third directorate. And we have, been, we have seen many benefits uh, from that uh, uh, move or, 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 or that uh, uh, setting up of that directorate. A key among them is that uh, we were the first county to have an active medicines and therapeutics committee in the country. And uh, this is a committee that ensures that uh, there is a platform where all technical people who are handling health products and technologies uh, bring their heads together to discuss on uh, interventions that can be put forth or that can be implemented to ensure that uh, there is uh, efficiency in the utilization of the uh, health products and technologies. We have also done uh, a trauma center. Uh, which is something that uh, the national government had planned to do since independence because of the busy Nairobi Mombasa Highway. But that never happened. We were able to set up that uh, trauma center. We have uh, an ultra modern CT scan, 64 slice, uh, that uh, you don't easily find them in the public health space. And uh, double theaters. Uh, we have uh, surgeons there, general surgeons, we have the orthopedic surgeon who is doing very interesting work, including knee replacements, total knee replacements. Uh, these are things that previously have only been seen in the private hospitals, but now we are able to do that uh, for our patients. Sio hospitali peke inayotoa huduma hizi kupitia serikali ya kaunti ya Makweni sasa wakazi wanaweza kupata huduma hizi katika hospitali kumi na moja za sub county yani level 4 hospitals ambazo ni mbaoni level 4 Tawa Kisao hospitali ya Matiliku Mukuyuni hospitali ya Kilungu hospitali ya Sultan Makindu Kambo ambazo ni hospitali moja za level 4
kama njia ya kuwawezesha wakazi wasio na uwezo wa kujimudu kifedha serikali ya kaunti ya Makweni chini ya uongozi wake gavana profesa Kivutha Kibwana ilibuni mpango wa ufadhili wa matibabu wa Makweni Care wa shilingi 500 tu kwa kila familia kwa muda wa mwaka mmoja since the introduction of Makweni Care the residents of Makweni have really benefited it's only 500 per year and to get all the services which uh, can be offered here in Kibwezi, can be offered in Makweni County Hospital. The card has really helped the residents of Makweni. Kuna hii universal health care. Tunalipa, tulikuwa na tangu 2013. 2015 hapo. Ikakuja ya kwanza, tuka renew, tena, tuka renew. Yani wa ukija tu hata kama huko ume renew size. Before wanze kutibiwa, Unaingia hapo, unarinio hapa hapa. Within 15 minutes, umerinioa, unatritiwa bure, unabeba dawa, unaenda nyumbani. Sisi kuhilo tulikuwa tunafanya arambe za hospitali. Kabla ya devolution government, tulikuwa na shida kubwa katika hiyo hospitali. Kitu ya kwanza kuluwa na shida ya madawa. Ukiyo unaandikiwa card, unambiwa unenda kwa chemist. Ukatunua dawa. Na watu wengi kwa sababu ya kwa ya pesa. Walekua wanaenda bila dawa. Na pengine wengine walekua wanakufa. Kwa sababu ya kwa pesa. Ya kunua dawa. Na kulekua na vitu vinga bavyo. Vili kwa sikana katika huyo hospitali. Siku hisi vitu vya kupima watu wa gonjwa. Simekuweko. Dawa imewekwa chungu mzima. Ni nandu wa kuambi wa wende wakanunue dawa inche. Na kuna hii eh, card ya account, hiyo pia mesaidia watu sana. Wengi mtu akinuwa hiyo card, akilipa pesa, atibiwa mwaka mzima, bila kulipa chochote. Wale wazee kama mimi na 68 years, hii card mevewa bure. That is an advantage to the dissolution. Like ya tukua na source of power. Uh, the facility was not fenced during that time, but with Makweni County, we have been able to get solar power. Uh, initially, before we had the power, we could not, there were services which, which we could not offer. For example, like the maternity services, they were not, we could not do those services at night because of the challenge of power. Also during that time, we did not have the lab services. Currently, we are offering lab services for our HNC mothers and for the other clients who come to the facility. We also have a powerhouse with a generator, a modern generator, and also we have a, a generator which uses uh, fuel, which actually alternates with electricity from the Kenya Power and Writing Company when we have a blackout. So the hospital is uh, Supplied 24-7, we have no issue with the power in the hospital, whether we have power outage or not. Before devolution, the ambulance services in the county did not have a central command. We were operating with five ambulances, and there were no emergency medical technicians. So we had a lot of maternal, neonatal mortality rates. But after devolution, the county has been able to procure 20 ambulances, which are evenly distributed in the six sub-counties and also employed, invested in human resource. As I speak, we have eight EMTs employed by the county. Uh, we also have uh, an operational, emergency operation center, that is the call center. We have a central chain of command for the ambulance services in the county. Uh, we have been able now to have a response time for every emergency of less than 30 minutes that is saving lives and more so having a quick access and response to emergency cases in the county women are farmers and farmers are women uh, 75 percent or even 80 percent of the food that is grown and knowing makueni is a, an agricultural country is actually grown by women so how do you expect a woman whose hand has been broken to feed the family how do you expect a woman 
who psychologically and emotionally is not happy uh, to actually take care of a family. How do you expect a mother, uh, a wife, who is responsible for taking care of the older people in that family, who has been violated, uh, constantly being beaten, really be able to actually take care of that family. So we see, develop, we see sexual and gender-based violence as a development issue, and that's why as a county we established a gender recovery center. We also have a safe place during the lockdown uh, at the beginning of COVID-19. Uh, there, were, there, were, there, were, there, were, there were cases of women that uh, are violated uh, during the night, they, they come from Kakamega, they come from Machakos, they can't get to Nairobi, they can't get to Mombasa. Therefore, we actually established a, a safe place and we saved quite a few women. Jomla ya viomba kumina ine viomba paswadi ya ni theater zimwezeshwa kutoa uduma kwa wagonjwa mbalimbali katika county ya makweni. Ambapo awali ni viomba vitato vili vyotoa uduma hiyo. The services by then were so limited because there was no theater services. <clears throat> there were no uh, x-ray services, uh, there were no even maternity services. They did not have a model maternity. So post-devolution, when you came in, uh, devolution has actually improved so much. If you look at the sub-county hostel, currently we, there is a new maternity wing which is able to serve a, an average of to around 150 deliveries that is per month kufikia sasa huduma za x-ray zinapatikana ambapo serikali ya kaunti ya Makweni imewekeza katika vituo kumi katika kaunti nzima kutoka vituo viwili vya zamani kufikia sasa kaunti ya Makweni imeafikia sheria ya shirika la afya duniani WHO ambalo itaji kuwepo kwa kituo cha afya baada ya kila kilomita nne na nusu the average walking distance to the nearest health facility has improved before devolution the average walking distance was uh, 9 kilometers and we have added infrastructure by building new dispensaries and renovating others that were stored under the old uh, county council and this distance has reduced to an average of 4.5 kilometers which is within the WHO recommendation of uh, 5 kilometers. Hata hivyo kufikia sasa serikali ya kaunti ya Makweni imewekeza zaidi kuhakikisha wagonjwa wa macho wa wasafiri mbali kupokea matibabu. Huduma kama hizi pia zikitolewa kwa wagonjwa wa meno ambapo pia serikali imewekeza zaidi. Wagonjwa maututi wanaohitaji huduma za ICU sasa wanapokelewa katika hospitali kuu ya rufaa ya wote ambapo pia ndicho kitovu cha matibabu ya wagonjwa wa COVID-19. Sitoshe serikali ya kaunti ya Makweni imehusisha jamii kuimarisha afya kupitia mpango wa community health strategy. We had 91 community health units and uh, from 2013 to date we have increased that number to 219 through establishment or uh, more units in training community health volunteers. Community health volunteers are a human workforce who work in the community, assisting community members in matters uh, pertaining to health. Serikali ya kaunti ya Makweni vile vile imefungua vituo vya ushauri na saa, yaani counseling units katika hospitali mbalimbali. Uh, Makweni County didn't have a, a counseling program. We didn't have a counseling unit. So immediately the devolution brought us to Makweni. We realized that uh, there was a void. And we realized that through uh, the hard way, uh, there was the cancer care uh, problem of where people drank illicit uh, beer, uh, illicit alcohol. And we lost many people, and some of them uh, even became blind. Then that was followed again by the Garissa incident where we lost about uh, 30 people from the Garissa uh, incident. And then also we had the uh, Fuake 
uh, uh, problem where we had an accident and uh, many people were hurt. And in all these three incidences, people were very much traumatized. And that's when, especially the first incident, we have to revert to our uh, counselors outside this county because we didn't have a counseling unit. And it was uh, not only cumbersome, but also expensive. We had to source from Nairobi, from Nakuru, and from other parts of the country. And uh, we realized through that, that actually there was a need for a counseling unit in, in Makueni County. And um, I'm very happy that uh, when I sold this idea to the county government, they bought it, they, have the, they had the goodwill, and we started uh, the journey to form a counseling unit. Uh, we started with 10 counselors and one unit head uh, for one year, and then we upgraded to 15 counselors and, uh, and one unit head. And now we are at 18 uh, counselors, uh, that is inclusive of the unit head. Usimamizi na uthibiti wataka na uchafu katika hospitali nyingi omu nchini ni moja kati ya changamoto kubwa ila katika kaunti ya makweni moja kati ya mitambo mitano ya kisasa ya kuteketeza taka nchini inapatikana hapa. Atukua na chumba cha kuchomea ama inisinereta tulikuwa tunachomea uchafu inche lakini wakati county government ilikuja eh, county government ya makweni ilitusaidia wakati njengea nyumba wakatuletea mashini ya kuchoma uchafu kwa hivyo siku hizi uchafu wote wa kutoka kwa hospitali na hata ma hospitali ingini ya kaunti mzima yote yanaleta uchafu hapa kwa hivyo uchafu unachoma kwa iki kifaa kisha ikikuwa njivu kuna mahali ambapo pametengenezwa mzuri tunaenda kuweka huko on human resource uh, for health in 2013, we only had about 977 healthcare workers working uh, for the department. We have continuously improved those numbers, and currently, we have 1,504 uh, workers. The staff are motivated, bit like uh, an example is timely salaries and good environment. That is working environment. Ushirikiano na umoja baina wafanyakazi umesaidia kuimarika kwa sekta ya afya katika county ya Mak the nurses, the support staff, and members of the management team. Makueni County Referral Nurses, we dare to care. Wagonjwa wa saratani wafaidika hapa kubwa kutokana na kuwepo kwa kituo cha saratani cha Makueni Kansas Center ambacho kimimarishwa na ufadhili wa serikali ya county ya Makueni kwa shirikiano na mashirika mengine. Shirika la Amref ni moja ya kati ya mashirika makuu yanayoshirikiana na serikali ya kaunti ya Makueni kutoa mafunzo kwa udumu wa jamii wa kiafya yani community health workers. Shirika la Philips pia limesaidia pakubwa kwa miundombinu ya kisasa kwa kuwezeka mitambo ya umeme ya sola katika baadhi hospitali za kaunti ya Makueni. Aidha usafi umedumishwa kwa kiwango cha hali ya juu katika hospitali zote na kutolewa kwa huduma za chanjo kwa wakati ufao. Before devolution Makweni County had around 119 immunization sites, but then after uh, devolution, 
the sites have grown to 276. And this growth can be uh, connected with the devolution because the county was able to acquire additional vaccine fridges and that was supposed to store vaccines for these immunization sites. The county was able uh, to employ additional staff who would work in these additional uh, vaccination sites. As well, the county acquired some uh, other uh, equipment and other support to the sites. For example, the motorbikes were acquired and were distributed to the community health extension workers and some of the community health volunteers. This is assisted in carrying out outreach uh, uh, in various outreach areas in the Ili areas which were prior difficult to access immunization sites or immunization services in Makweni uh, County. Huku pia njia ya kidijitali ikitumika kusajili wagonjwa. Hata hivyo serikali ya kaunti ya Makweni inaendelea kuwekeza zaidi katika sekta ya afya ikiwa ni pamoja na ujenzi wa hospitali mpya na vitengo mbalimbali mbali vya kuimarisha afya. Uh, this is a, a 200 uh, bed facility that we will use for specialist care of COVID patients and when COVID dies down and we don't uh, have to uh, utilize that facility for the same, it can still be used uh, for general wards for our patients. Uh, this facility uh, will also uh, have labs inside, uh, it will have uh, offices inside and basically, it is a facility that is envisioned to continue serving uh, this county for the next 30, 40 years. We're coming up with a, with a, with a what they, in Machakos they call it Ward 9. Ward 9, a mental, uh, mental a psychiatric, uh, and we have, a, we have a, already the superintendent in Makueni Referral Hospital is a, is an, is a, a psychiatric uh, a doctor. So we are building, we are actually in the process of completing the, 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 that unit so that we do not refer people in Madare, we do not refer people to, my, to Machako. So soon we will, we will uh, commission it. I think as we move forward, uh, we, we have to make sure that we invest more money in health, particularly uh, because as of now we're investing a, a slightly over 30% of our budget on health matters. And health was the, one of the most, actually the most decentralized function because of the uh, dispensaries at the level of uh, uh, the village, so to speak. Uh, so we will need more money and, 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 and uh, if in the next government, after the elections, if it is possible, using the constitution that we have, even without having to change the constitution, to make the money going to devolution uh, more, because that is possible. The constitution simply says, what is the minimum, which is 15%. It doesn't talk about the minimum. So even 35%, 40%, 45% can uh, be increased using the current constitution. If that was to happen, so that now more money can go into health, that is when uh, uh, in, in, in Makwene, for example, I can foresee that money being used to promote community health strategy. Mafanikio amba mewezeshu wana miondombino na mipangilio iliowekwa na serikali ya county makwene kupitia sekte afya na biyo maana wanafunzi wa muani wanasema. Witu gatuzi, kama paa tumepaa juu ya paa, tutapepea tutapaa, shwa.